today I've got another $250 Amazon custom return general merchandise mystery box. The last one you saw last Tuesday, just a couple days ago, it had over a thousand dollars of potential selling total in one liquidation box. Craziness. So my cost on all these were around $250 a piece, and the average price or average value selling potential in each box between $750 to a thousand. The last box, craziness. Four times my money back. Out of the video, my wife was going through the box with me and she was just like, wow, this was a really good liquidation box. I was like, yup, it was. It was a good one. So hopefully, today's keeps the ball going. This is just as good as one from a couple days ago. Let's find out. So everything in this box, it could be used. It could be brand new. It could be open box item, lightly used. I haven't got any like trash in these boxes that I've been buying now. And uh, hopefully the good luck continues and the contents keep being fantastic because I'm very impressed with the quality of merchandise in these Amazon liquidations I've been getting. Ooh, okay, I see Legos on top. Looks like, uh, okay, interesting. I really can't see very much in that box. It's pretty, everything's like pretty buried in there. Let's see what is in this. So general merchandise, as you know, it could be toys, electronics, home goods, housewares, kitchenware, sporting goods, pets, anything. If you can dream it, it's it could be in it. Last time we got like an expensive designer watch. Huh, I see a power tool in there also. Okay, here we go. First thing, Eva Pro. So this is a, oh, this is like a, uh, like an iPad case. Nothing, or for iPad 2017, 20. So it's for like a older iPad. Honestly, probably 10 bucks in this. Not very expensive. A lot of these items I will look up on eBay, actual sold prices. Uh, some stuff like that I will look up because, you know, I know how much it's gonna sell for in the open market. Kinda like this, e-writing board, singer, single color LCD panel. Might be a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. Oh, that's cool. Huh. And it erases it. It's like an SS, it's like an etch, uh, can't talk, etch a sketch board. That's kind of cool. What if my grandson would like this? Oh, we lost something. What if my grandson would like this item? He might actually draw in a little bit. Oh, let me see why I just dropped. What fell out was a tiny little screwdriver, a super, super small one. Don't know what that would be for. Okay, here we go. Let's keep going. We pull up this Lego set. We have a Lego, uh, what is this? Propeller plane. And it is still factory sealed. It is Lego number 31099. Propeller plane, still brand new. Like I said, factory sealed look on ebay really quick 10 bucks on average i'm seeing as high as like 13 14 about 10 bucks right there not super expensive oh do i have a fitbit here i think i see fitbit on the back of it the the front of this thing the packaging is ripped off i think i just got a fitbit and i did fitbit don't know what kind of fitbit it is though let me scan the barcode. See if I can pull up on Amazon to see what it, what kind of Fitbit I have here. This one is the Fitbit Charge 5 Advanced Fit Fitness and Health Tracker with built-in GPS. Anyway, it sells brand new on Amazon for $149.95. $150 new? That is expensive. Hopefully this works. Hopefully it's all good to go in there. I'll have to try it out to find out. Let me actually look on uh, eBay how much it sells for used. So Fitbit, Charge 5, if it's in the box, it's between 100 to 120 bucks on average. So we'll say about 110. Between 1 to 120. And it has the original box, the chargers, it's got the paperwork in there, all the goodies. Average about 110 bucks. Fitbit, oh there, there I see on the side there, Fitbit Charge 5. That's nice right there. That paid for almost half the box. 
one item, one thing. Okay, here we go. Power tool. We got a Black and Decker 20 volt drill. No battery, no box, just the loose drill. Not very much, maybe 10 bucks for this because the most expensive part of this whole thing is the battery. It's the battery. I think we have a watch here, it looks like. And it is a watch. Looked like a watch box. It has the, it's, oh, it's a Psycho or Seiko, however you say it. It's brand new, it still has the protective film on the face of it. Has the tag still attached to it. Nice. Let me scan this barcode on Amazon, see how much it sells for on that website. Whoa, on Amazon. That's it right there. It sells new on Amazon for $184. Wow. So if it sells new for $184 on Amazon, eBay will probably be between $150 to $175 um, in, in that range. Because usually it sells for a little bit less on eBay than it does on Amazon. It's still brand new. It has all the tags attached to it. The film is still on the face. It hasn't been removed or nothing. So I'll probably, honestly, ask around $175 for this watch. First person offers me one fit on eBay, I'll sell it to you. So this side, actually these two things right here, paid for the whole box. Two items, then the entire box is paid for. Everything else is pure profit. And we've just started. This might be another home run box. Oh, these are reading glasses. I had these the last time. They're about 25 bucks. The brand's that Toa Toa brand. There's two pairs of reading glasses in that box. Black Orchid Hair Diffuser. This Jill Merchandise box is very eclectic. That's a hair diffuser? Okay. I have no idea the value of this item. Looks like I sell between 20 and 25 bucks. Not super expensive. Um, that's for like open box item. 20 25 bucks. So nothing crazy there. Oh, we have some printer ink. You know, five, ten bucks. Oh, the smart garage hub. We've gotten plenty of these in liquidation pallets over, over the years. And every time I get one of these out, I always say, I can't remember the price of what these sell for. <laughs> Once again, I can't remember the price of what this sells for. Um, how much? I think, it, I, honestly, I think it's like 40 bucks. I think it sounds, it sounds about right. I think it's about 40 bucks, if I remember correctly. I think they have a couple listed in their in, er, eBay store right now. All this stuff will be available in our eBay store. They'll be dropping down below in, in the description box is VO to the eBay store. Check it out. There's over like 1,500 items available right now for sale. Look at that. Factory sealed Xbox One game. It is still factory sealed. What year is this? Is it older? Don't see a date quickly. Let me look this up on eBay. If it's factory sealed, it sells for about 60 bucks. If it's fact, this one is still factory sealed. It sells all day long for 60 bucks on eBay if it's factory. <laughs> nice, right there, 60 bucks. I'll take that in a heartbeat. What is this? I box Don bedside alarm clock with wireless charging. That's kind of cool. Huh, with wireless charging on this thing. I might have to possibly keep this for business sleeping use. Especially since it charges your your phone. I might need to hold on to that. I'm actually look it up though, just to uh, see how much it sells for first though. Then I'll decide if I'll keep it or not. <laughs> this sells open box item or used condition for about 25 bucks. Not crazy expensive. I'll try this thing out actually. That's, I do have like an alarm clock right now next to my bed. I wouldn't mind one that has a wireless phone charger on top of it. That would kill two birds with one stone. I'd be able to get rid of my uh, charger next to it. I could just put my phone on top of this alarm clock at night. That'd be kind of handy, actually. If that works, I'll probably keep that. What do we have here? Oh, we got some Pokemon cards. Uh, but are they authentic, though? It says, for sale in Japan only. 
Is it authentic? I'm going to do some research on this. I can't read it. But the back says, for sale in Japan only, made in Japan. I just see Pokemon and Japanese writing. I don't know what set this is. I'll have to contact some of my Pokemon people. See if that's real or fake. Because there are a lot of fake Pokemon cards in liquidation boxes right now. At least I've gotten quite a few. Um, I gotta see if that's actually real or fake though. But if it's real... Like a hobby box of cards could be like a hundred bucks. If that's real, I could dig a hundred bucks right there. Could be. Here we go. Next. Everything's wedged in there. We have, oh, nice. Home cell phone signal booster. I already have this item. I wonder if it's listed in an eBay store. I don't remember if it's made it that far yet. Looks like it hasn't actually been listed in an eBay store for sale yet. Hasn't made it that far. It will eventually. I do know I have one of these somewhere from a prior box. But it sells on eBay between 45 and 60 bucks All day long. So maybe about, what, 50 on average? Kind of like in the middle between 45 and 60 We have... Holy High True Wireless Earbuds. Off-brand earbuds. All the off-brand earbuds... Sell them for like 25 bucks or so. They never go for any kind of crazy prices. They're in there. Holy High Ear... I've never heard of this brand before. Holy High Earbuds. Anybody actually heard of this brand out there? In a uh, YouTube world? Never heard of them. Oh, it's probably about 25 bucks. Ooh, I see something. Whoa! Nice! We have Home Improvement... The 20th anniversary complete collection that comes in a freaking toolbox. For Tim, the tool man Taylor, comes in a freaking toolbox. It is still factory sealed. It looks like there are some scratches on the outside of the box. That's probably why it got returned. But yes, there's some there's some scratches on it. You know, it doesn't really matter that much. To a lot of people out there, I should say, but. That's the entire eight seasons in a specialty toolbox. Let me look this up on eBay. So on eBay, the last few sales of this, here's a 90, there's a 100, let's see, there's 80, 90, 85. Looks like between 80 to 100. Since it has a little bit of like some scratches on the front of this box where something like went through the cellophane, even say like 75 bucks, a little bit less than the lowest price just because of that. But honestly, it'll probably still sell for about 80 to $85, honestly. Probably will. Another one of these things, one of these test kits, these are around 20 bucks. I got quite a few of them now. Let's see, we have solar panel, the perfect charging solution for your wise cam outdoor. We have a wireless charger or not, a um, solar panel for your outside camera. Okay, I have no clue this has any value to it. Looks like open box is like 20 to 25 bucks. If it was new, it could be as high as 50, so like 20, 25 dollars for that. Not crazy expensive. Let's see. Oh, we got some more binoculars. We got a few of these now in the past few liquidation, like mystery boxes that I've purchased. Some binoculars. So far, all of them have worked just fine. None have been damaged. No scratch lenses or anything. Well, those look nice. Look still all factory packaged up too. I'll just keep them in there. Keep them all packaged up. No reason to take them out of their package and everything. Got to get everything back in here so it fits correctly again. That's half the battle when you pull stuff out of the packaging. <laughs> you never get it back in the same way ever again. Doesn't this drive everybody crazy? Drives me crazy. But most of these binoculars, honestly, that I've had so far in these boxes are between like $30 to $50 in that range. So about $40 for those binoculars. Let's see. That sounds kind of loose. It says it is a dog collar. Oh, just because everything inside of it is just kind of loose. Um, things need to be like tightened up a little bit. But it is a, uh, what did I just say? A dog training collar from the brand Pat Pet. 
Looks like it sells open box item for about 20 bucks, so not crazy expensive. We have, oh nice, another one of these things, sweet. Another entire Google Wi-Fi, like home mesh system. It's gonna have three of these in there. I think I have one on eBay already, possibly two listed previously. I have another one. This, these are kind of items that are just fantastic get in liquidation boxes because this is the kind of stuff that people want to get a little bit cheaper on eBay. Looking at my eBay store, I actually sold this exact item back on January 4th. I sold it for 90 bucks in like open box used condition, sold it for 90 bucks. That's actual real prices that I sold it for literally just a few weeks ago. So not bad, 90 bucks right there. We have another dog training collar. Honestly, probably same thing, 25, 30 bucks in that range. We got two things left, we're almost done. All in one trimmer, this thing is really dusty. All in one trimmer, the brand is Philips Norelco. Beard trimmer, all in one. Whenever we sell these, my wife like deep cleans these with like professional, like um, barber cleaning stuff and makes them all like sterilized and all that good, good stuff where we sell them. But that's gonna be 30 bucks or so, 30, 35 bucks an item. Also, here we go. Last thing, we have a pair of pink headsets. Q9515 gaming headset. It has ears on it. So this is an off-brand. It's gonna be, once again, 25, 30 bucks. Most of these items that are off-brand, like with like ear pods, headphones, 25, 30 bucks usually. It's pretty much the common theme for these. So that's it for this box, that is it. It is cleaned out. Once again, a really good box. The first couple items, pay for the whole box, 250, 350, 450. If that Pokemon card box of this thing is real, that could be another hundred bucks just right there. Yeah, I think this, once again, this might be $800 right here, maybe 900. I don't really know until I edit the video, but you already know at home how much the total is on the bottom of the screen. No matter what, this is gonna be profitable. Another really good box, very happy. I love these boxes, this is fun. Amazon customer turn and liquidation boxes are a lot of fun. They're a mystery, unmanifested, just, fun. If you haven't already, please feel free to go down there, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. I upload this channel every single day. I have not missed an upload in over three and a half years. I've uploaded every single day, at least once a day, sometimes twice a day. So if you want daily content, feel free, subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time.